this is Frank and uh, today I would like to talk a little bit about the agri sector in uh, Israel. Uh, as I speak to you right now, I'm in Yad Mordechai, Israel, and I'm standing right in a corn farm. This is sweet corn, as you can see, grown under drip irrigation. This is marvelous. This is amazing. For about four or five months now, there has not been any rain in Israel. But you can see how this corn, sweet corn, is doing so well. Everything is so green. There's uniformity in growth. Everything, the development is perfect. This tells you that if we are really serious about agriculture, I think, I think we will do so much money for our various countries. Uh, as you can see, drip irrigation is something that Israel does not joke about at all. They don't play with it. They, they don't have water. So the little water that they have, they try to put it into maximum use. So as you can see, this whole field, this whole field is about 90 acres or 100 acres. As you can see, full of corn, right, right hand side. And uh, my left is uh, cotton, all under irrigation. As you can see, the uniformity of growth. You can see the drip lines. Uh, this one you are seeing now. Uh, is uh, two rows per lateral as you can see and it's amazing if you enter the field my brothers and sisters if you enter the, this field it's very amazing so i just want to encourage each and every one of us the youngsters we the youth of africa or even the whole world we need to embrace agriculture let's try to do something out of agriculture because for me uh, it is the backbone of every nation Israel, uh, I would say, is, is, is almost a desert country, but they try to do something out of what they have. Like I said in the first place, they don't have water. Their soil is not the best. The land is not the best. But they try to, you know, put resources together and to make a living out of the soil or the land that they find themselves in. So, like you can see, I mean, this is very amazing and marvelous. I, 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 I kind of like this so much and, and I'm so happy about talking about this now and I want to believe that in the future we are also going to try something like this when we get back home. It is very nice. I'm in a cornfield now and I just want to talk a little bit about the layout and everything. First of all, I would like to talk about the neatness or the cleanliness of the farm. As you can see, you can find no weed. There are no weeds at all. The farm is clean as if maybe we are in a house. But I mean, believe me or not, this is a cornfield as you can all see. It's so clean, no weed. So there's no competition between the, the corn and, and weeds at all. As you can see, you can see the thickness of the stem of the, of the corn. You can see the planting distance. Everything is uniform. For the layout of uh, the drip lines, you can see every two rows there is a, a drip line passing through. So we call it a uh, two rows per lateral. That is what we have here now, and it's able to distribute water to both rows, and everything is growing so nicely. So, in fact, I'm even short of words. I don't know what to say again. This is so marvelous, it's so beautiful. You can see this is corn. It's so clean, no pests, nothing. It's 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 just growing so beautifully. As you can as you can see, as you can see, the soil is not I mean the best, but Israel is doing something out of it. This looks like a, almost a clay soil, but as you can see, with the drip lines and everything, everything is working perfectly. And I believe we can also be able to do something at you you know when we put our heads together we think about what to do for our nation we think about what to do for our countries we can be able to develop as a as people you know so i encourage all of us to you know embrace agriculture you know i mean when you go to some areas they tell you that these poor people that engage in agriculture but i tell you it's a lie when you come to israel like this the rich people or the most i mean the most rich people that you can find in israel are all farmers they use big big cars when they come to farm and you ask yourself if these are really farmers but i but what i've seen for myself charlie 
it's great it's great it's great to be a farmer so we are all looking forward to do something nice one day like this to able, able to support mankind so we have a cotton farm just opposite the cornfield and this cotton farm is also grown under drip irrigation and this cotton is just planted mainly to feed the cows the dairy i mean there's a dairy farm in the in the kibbutz yad Mordecai. so this cotton is planted mainly for the cows and as you can see these guys are serious about everything they mean business if they can grow all this just to feed the cows then you can just imagine what they'll do to just uh, you know feed the human being themselves so this is just i mean something later we want to just talk about see it's just cotton look at cotton field very vast land just cotton and just to feed the cows the dairy farm in yad Mordecai. they have all this just to feed their cows and charlie if somebody tells you that you put in all this effort and nothing comes out of it you have to know that i mean they are they, i mean they are they, they are really into business thank you